All right, we're back and we are about to crack a bottle we got from our recent Kentucky trip a few weeks ago. This is one that we have been looking for for a while. We got to Heaven Hill really early in the morning. Like, yeah, like 6.30 because I had to stop at McDonald's and get some breakfast first. Of course. Got to eat. <laughs> Fat kids got to eat, man. Gotta... That's a three-hour wait till the doors open. You ready to do the review? Yeah, let's, crack, <laughs> let's pop this or does it pop? <laughs> it's open. It. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> Don't break the decanter. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Sticky, sticky. So, yeah, we went to Heaven Hill really early, about 6.30 in the morning. We ended up being, I think, late 30s, around 40th in line. Uh, mid I think we were 35. Yeah, somewhere around there. So, you know, we weren't sure what to expect. Um, Heaven Hill has been killing it with morning releases there for quite a while now. That's a fat drink. Almost daily. And uh, we're lucky enough to get there on a the day they had old Fitzgerald 10. Uh, so we were super stoked to pick up a couple of bottles of this and bring it back and finally getting into the review. Like I said, we were about number 35 and they only put out 40 bottles that day. Yeah, we were right at the end of the uh, of the number of bottles that they had allocated. And those probably at least 80 to 100 people in line. Yeah, we was, we was getting scared. Yeah, this is the spring release, I believe. The green bottle is the spring release. Red bottle is distillery mm -hmm. only and black bottle is fall release. So. This is spring of 24. Guess I'm not a dumbass after all. Oh, look at that. And he didn't even look. He was just guessing. <laughs> now, if he could do that with the lotto numbers, we could win the Powerball. We could go buy freaking Heaven Hill ourselves. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't buy know Heaven that. Hill. <laughs> Open a distillery, at least. How about that? Uh, yeah, something. All righty. Well, well, well. Hmm. That's an interesting nose straight off the bat. Um, That's typical very, Heaven Hill profile for me. <coughs> very mild, though. What's the numbers on this thing? I think it's 100 proof, bottled and bond. Oh, well, obviously then. Bottled and bond, 100 proof. Yep. 10 years old. You all know that because you've all had it before and we haven't. <laughs> we, we late to the game. It is not a super pungent nose, though. I will say that. I get like apples or pears. I'm not getting a lot of fruit on this one. It's more grains for me. Depends on where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> How does this guy get invited to barrel picks, everybody? <laughs> Depending where I'm standing depends on how it smells. That's oh. the... <laughs> well, they don't know I got a fan over here blowing on me. So if I step back... Why do you have There's a fan on you? Because I'm fat and it's hot in here. Spoiled. That's why. I like, I like air conditioning. What is it? It's still 78 degrees outside. Oh, we're melting back here, people. I am. Look. I'm melting. Oh, man. It Some... smells good. It does. So it does smell good. But the, 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 the thing I'm having problem is, is, is finding those hidden notes. Yeah. I'm just getting the basic ones, uh, you know, vanilla, caramel. They're, real, they're really mild, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, they're like, yeah, like I said, not super pungent. Getting a little bit of, like, citrus. Like orange, like a mild orange. I want to say I'm getting, like, a wheat note on it, but I don't think this this is a this is a uh, heavy weeded mash bill by any means. I, I don't think anyway. I wouldn't know. I didn't look at it. <laughs> Definitely Dude. sweet. Smell good. Definitely, Smell uh, sweet, hopefully, nice and nice and uh, nice legs on the glass. That shit better be good. <laughs> it better be good for the for the price it was. Cheers. And a four hour wait. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. All right. Grainy on the palate. Yeah. But not in a bad way, like sweet grains, but almost like uh almost like Cheerio kind of you know, like that that bland kind of cereal that uh, needs needs sugar added to it or some milk. Yeah, <laughs> like corn flakes. Yeah, man. Because Cheerios is kind of sweet. I like Cheerios and it don't well, taste you probably like eat the frosted ones. I don't <laughs> like frosted ones. 
I like the multigrain Cheerios. Them is delicious. I am not. I'm not upset about it. I'm just not initially blown away by it. It almost tastes like shredded, wheat, like like healthy healthy cereals. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of grain on this. Uh, you know, some some butter smoothness in there. It's not a harsh whiskey by any means, but uh, definitely definitely not a. Not, not not a not a top three for me by any means. No, but, it definitely smells better than it tastes. Yeah, that's kind of. I'm starting to get that buttery flavor. I'm yeah. drinking like corn husks. Yeah. You ever eaten like, a tamale and forgot to take the husk off? All right, so the, yeah, it's kind of like yeah, like a popcorny, like a sweet popcorn butter. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a smell. I know my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> this this tastes you know, like ghetto popcorn. Dollar Tree popcorn compared to like Oval Redenbacher's. I wouldn't call this no Dollar Tree popcorn, dude. <laughs> no, I, I quite enjoy it. Pop secret it, popcorn. It's good. I like it. I don't I don't love it to the point where I'm going to start raving about it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I like it a lot. It's very nice pour. Something I'd want to share with you know people that have also been hunting this particular bottle for a long time i'd recommend getting yourself a pour before you spend hours days weeks years hunting the damn bottle yeah what was it like 170 or something 170 like that 170 plus tax so it's not a it's not a cheap bottle you know if, if you're gonna pay close to 200 bucks after tax for a bottle it better blow your mind at that stage because there are much more affordable bottles i like it i'm not mad about it it's uh it's a damn fine pour i'll be looking forward to sharing it with some friends yeah there's definitely a share bottle trying to be selfish <laughs> share it with you're doing enough of that man <laughs> i say i share this one with you cheers cheers That shit's all right.